Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the trivia quiz game that's easy to play in your car, with your friends, or by yourself. I'll read the questions, you answer the questions, keep score if you want. There's a tiebreaker question at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Today's game comes from Scotland. Howard and Charmaine have sent in a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz for us, so have fun and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. In Greek mythology, he was cursed to stand in a pool of water with low branches, and whenever he reached for the fruit, the branches raised his intended meal from his grasp. Who was this character that, whenever he bent down to get a drink, the water receded before he got any? The answer is Tantalus. Question number two. A pantry is a food storage room for dry goods such as bread, hence the pan tree. From the French word that means bottle, what was the old name for a storage room in a house for the liquid foodstuffs, like wines and liquors? The answer is the buttery. Question number three. This country was known to the Chinese, Korean, and Japanese as Tiansu, Chanchuk, and Tenjiku, respectively. Throughout history, it has had other local names, such as Bharat, mentioned in the Rig Veda from 1420 BC. Which country is now considering changing its name to Bharat? The answer we're looking for is India. Question number four, a weasel and a Klingon. What is the name of the actor who gained recognition on Star Trek The Next Generation as the Klingon Worf and as the voice of I Am Weasel in the Cartoon Network show I Am Weasel? Looking for the name of that actor. The answer is Michael Dorn. Question number five. Jimmy Durante, known as Schnozzle Durante, was a popular comic known for his big nose. There are also proboscis monkeys that have huge noses, but which of the animals still living on the planet, so we're not counting extinct ones, which animal on the planet has the longest nose? This is a tough one, but if you look at a picture, it's correct. The sperm whale has an enormous nose. Question number six. The country of Australia was at first referred to as New Holland. It gradually acquired towns, then states, until the Commonwealth of Australia was founded on January 1st, 1901. This country has a federal parliament and consists of how many states? Australia is made up of six states. Question number seven. This name is one of the oldest used in English law when the real name of someone is withheld or when a corpse can't be identified. What is the alliterative first and last name of the known unknown, one size fits all, a potentially everyone and actually no one? Before John Doe, there was Richard Rowe. Richard Rowe is the answer. Question number eight. Artie Quisman has traveled to many places, including the windy desert areas of North Africa and the Middle East. While there, he saw lots of camels. In order to help keep the sand out of their eyes, how many eyelids do most camels have?
I'm sure there's a species or something that might have a different number, but for the most part, camels have three sets of eyelids. Question number nine. What is present in the variety of quartz stone known as cat's eye that gives it its unique glowing appearance known as chatoyancy? What is the material that is present in that variety of quartz stone that gives it its glowing appearance? Inside that is asbestos, specifically asbestos fibers. Question number 10. When Harry Potter and the Weasley family visited Arthur Weasley in St. Mungo's Hospital, a medieval healer in a magical portrait diagnosed Ron Weasley with this disease, given the unsightly blemishes on his face. Ron said the spots were only freckles, but what disease did the healer think that he had? He thought he had come down with a case of Spattergroit. Spattergroit is the answer. Question number 11. Although not the first team to which it was applied, what nickname was given to the New York Yankees baseball team of the late 1920s, in particular to Earl Combs, Mark Koenig, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Bob Musil, and Tony Lazzari, the first six hitters in the 1927 team lineup? What did they call those guys? They were given the nickname Murderer's Row. Question number 12. In 1942, a state-of-the-art Art Deco furnished ship built for crossing the Atlantic was burnt out at Pier 88 in New York Harbor, eventually capsizing and ending up on its side. Despite it being extensively and expensively repaired, it was eventually scrapped in 1946. What was its name? Throughout its life, it actually had two different names. So if you said the SS Normandy or the USS Lafayette, both of those are correct. Question number 13. Priestley called his discovery deflogisticated air on the theory that it supported combustion so well because it had no phlogiston in it. Hence, it could absorb the maximum amount during burning. What gas was it that was discovered by Sir Joseph Priestley in 1774? Instead of saying deflogisticated air, we say oxygen. Question number 14. The Scottish mathematician John Napier published a book in 1614 introducing a useful aid to mathematicians to simplify calculations. They are the inverse function to exponentiation, commonly using a base of 10. What are they called? The term we're looking for is a logarithm. Question number 15. What is the name of the treaty signed in 1848 that ended the war between the U.S. and Mexico and forced Mexico to cede 55% of its territory, including present-day states of California, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, most of Arizona and Colorado, and parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Wyoming? This treaty was called the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Question number 16. New Orleans trumpeter Louis Armstrong's nickname Satchel Mouth or Satchmo was well known, but he did have another nickname among his jazz playing colleagues. This name was also used in a popular jazz blues song. What was it? So we know they called him Satchmo. What was his second most common nickname? There was a song that used the name called Dipper Mouth Blues. They called him Dipper or Dipper Mouth. 
Question number 17. Some people indulge in scrying with catoptromancy using mirrors or crystallomancy using crystals or hydromancy using water. Nostradamus is a famous example of a person who partook in what activity? Catoptromancy, crystallomancy, and hydromancy are forms of fortune telling or predicting the future, future telling. Question number 18. The 1948 Olympics were held in London, England. A star of the tournament who won four gold medals was a Dutch mother of two nicknamed the Flying Housewife. What was her real name? I had never heard of her, but when I googled her, there's a ton of stuff on her. Uh, she's very famous, very popular. Her name was Fanny Blankers Cohen, the Flying Housewife. A note written around 1637 in the margin of a book, Diophantus' Arithmetica, says there are no positive integers x, y, and z such that xn plus yn equals zn, where n is an integer greater than 2. This wasn't proven until 1995, but who is the author of this note known as his last theorem? The answer is Pierre de Fermat. It was Fermat's last theorem. And question 20. Various reasons are given for the planting of this species of tree in churchyards. For example, one is that the heartwood is red and the sapwood is white, representing the body and the blood of Christ. Which species of tree is it? This species of tree popular in churchyards is the yew tree, Y-E-W, yew tree. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you, Howard and Charmaine, for sending in. This was the second quiz we've played from them. They come from all the way over in Scotland. That's why I used my Edinburgh pictures today. I was so happy to see that there was a Harry Potter question because when we were in Scotland we did a Harry Potter walking tour around the city and it was pretty enjoyable. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but my wife is. She loved it. That city is something else. If you get a chance to go check it out, I suggest you do it. Thank you again, Howard and Charmaine. Thank you everybody else for watching today's episode. Here comes question 21, the tiebreaker for today. If I was your age 10 years before you were born, and now I'm 50, then how old are you now? If I was your current age 10 years before you were born, and now I'm 50, then you're 20. That would make me 30 years older than you, which would have put you at negative 10 while I was 20. It all checks out. The answer is 20, which means whichever player got closest to 20 is going to win the point, break the tie, win the whole stinking game. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. See ya then.